Hi guys, welcome back. What is it? What is this? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's menu is, as you guys already know, is soybean sprouts. It's soybean sprouts. And yesterday I made some Korean style seafood boil. And I loved it, and I hope you guys did also. But today I am making something a little, um, kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I am making a yakisoba sandwich. So yakisoba is one of the most, you know, iconic, super famous street food in Japan. This is not the recipe to go to if you want to make an authentic yakisoba dish you know it's really not i'm you know you know me like my recipes are like i leave stuff out i add more stuff so this is not the authentic recipe however it is inspired by it and the reason why i wanted to do this video is because last week when i did the super spicy noodle series i had a lot of instant noodles left and i told you guys i want to do a how to enjoy leftover noodles or product bokkumya you know super spicy noodle packages i only use the sauces i use the sauces more than the noodles basically so i have some leftover so it's good it's so it's going to be a noodle dish however i'm going to put that in like a sandwich so i'm basically putting it, them in this bread um no this is not something i came up with there is actually a such thing as yakisoba sandwich so obviously it's inspired by that but i am adding some soybean sprouts and a little bit of chicken and a couple of vegetables. In today's video, I will talk about what I have in mind for my future with me, my career, tone, family, just myself and anything in general. Uh, not too specific because I don't want to spoil anything. Like, cause, you know, some of them are, you know, like when I plan to do something, I don't really tell people about it until I do it, you know, just because I don't want people to have some kind, some kind of expectations or you know what I mean? I don't want to let people down. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. And uh, for next topic, uh, help me choose. What do you guys want me to talk about? In the next video, I could actually do a Q&A video. Um, I know that I haven't done that in a long time. If not, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to talk about. Comment below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series so far. And lastly, I am announcing the second winner in the uh, end of the video. So, but without further ado, if you guys want to know how I create this meal, just keep on watching. Put it with some oil. Okay, so on one side, I'm going to add chicken thigh. Just, yeah. Okay, just this side. Cook some chicken thighs. Okay, and then, mm -hmm. going to add uh, my vegetables to, in today's video will be onions, cabbage, a little bit of jalapeno, um, and bean sprouts. So I am going to start off with onions, jalapeno, a little bit of that. Let's add the cabbage too. Let's just make this fast. Just a little bit of cabbage. I don't want to use all of it. Also, a bit of Oh my god, I want to have more vegetables than noodles. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Cook, cook, cook. Coat it. I just, I just really like spraying it, okay? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Bean sprouts. I'll just flip them over. I really, I must say that chicken thighs are my favorite part of the chicken. Have you guys tried the chicken gizzard before? I actually have a mukbang on it. I made a video a long time ago. <laughs> it's very good. It's very like crunch. It kind of has that. It's not crunch. It's chewy. And it has a very specific texture to it. That you can't really get it from other food. So in a chicken gizzard in Korean, it's called taktongjip. And for the longest time, this is before I started eating it. For the longest time, I thought it was the meat around their butthole. Because taktongjip, taktong, it's like dong is poop in Korean. And you know, like taktongjip, and then I automatically thought, okay, so dong is poop, and poop comes out of their, you know, anal, so maybe it's the meat around their anal. So I was like, I would never eat that. That's so gross, you know? But I see all these adults eating it. I'm like, you guys are so gross. How could you, you know, do that? Once I found out that it's not from their butthole, 
I tried it and I loved it. <laughs> okay, so these all look good. Okay, let's just cook the just a little bit longer. Okay, let's mix them together. Ooh. Usually they add the mung bean sprouts, but my theme is bean sprouts. So, and they're okay. That's not it's not that big of a deal. A little bit more. I'm actually going to add a little bit of sugar. Let's add the sugar, right? Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit of sugar, just a little bit, like a half spoon. If you want a little bit sweeter, just add a little bit more. Mm. Yesterday, I ate this thing called crispy buns from a Thai restaurant with condensed milk. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The thing was pretty good. It was, it was really good. Maybe one day I could recreate it, but I really can't bake. Oh, it looks so good. Ooh. I just want to make sure that the chickens are fully cooked before I eat them. And here I am going to add some pre-boiled noodles. I left them in icy, like super cold water. <gasps> okay. Get the water out. This is one and a half pack. I thought I had more left, but I only have one and a half left. So okay, and here let's add the sauces. Okay, so I'm going to add is I'm gonna need you're gonna need oyster sauce. I'm gonna add about two to three. Okay. One. Not whatever. And you're gonna need some Worcestershire sauce. About four. Three, four. One, two, a little bit over three. And then you're gonna need some ketchup. I'm cheating here. Ketchup. Okay. About, if, you're, if you have Worcestershire sauce, you don't have to add ketchup. But I'm just going to add just a little bit, like one, like spoonful. Ooh. Mmm. I think you could add a little less oyster sauce. <laughs> but this reminds me of something. You know, if you don't want to go, th if you don't want to go through all this. You know the Korean instant jajangmyeon black bean noodles? Use that. I think that might be as good. Kind of reminds me of that, you know? I feel like I need a little bit more sauce. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more. I kind of want to add teriyaki, but just a little bit more. Oh, you know, some people, I see some people adding tonkatsu sauce. Since I am putting them in uh, bread, I want them to have a little bit more flavor. Kind of cook them just a little bit more. I want to try the chicken. Um, these are definitely cooked. Look how small they are. Guys, this is so good. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna turn the heat down, heat off. And then I am actually trans I'm going to transfer them into my bread. But before I do that, you could um, add the mayo inside. You could add the mayo after. But I'm just going to add just just a little bit. Okay. You could spread them. I'm just spreading it a little bit. I want to make sure that I get the bean sprouts. That's just my main ingredient. Well, I guess it's not main. I guess like chicken kind of took over, but 
You know what I mean, right? Oh, I need some chicken. Some chicken in there. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I don't think the jalapenos did anything. I mean, barely added them, so. Mmm. Mmm, chicken. Okay. Let's add some lettuce. Oh, you know, I have to add cheese. Hold on. Let's add some lettuce in here. Then I need to add my cheese. So I have some Swiss cheese. Just add like a little bit of time. <laughs> this is so much. Oh no, I added too much. Or maybe I could just add them inside if you want. It's safer that way. Okay, I added some cheese. And then I am going to add some bonito flakes or you know, fish flakes. You don't have to, just add a little bit. Ooh, it smells so good. And then some dried seaweed. Okay. Oh my god, look how look how good this looks. Oh my god. Okay, and then this is completely optional. Could add a fried egg. Okay, I'll just use my hand. I have a fried, usually in yakisoba, they put, they add a fried egg on top, but since I'm not doing that, uh, okay, let's put it in the middle like that. Let's kind of like stuff it in. <laughs> hey, this looks pretty good. I'm just add some more. And ta-da! We're done. I'm just going to set up and I'm gonna get my chips in now and cut this in half so easier for me to eat and I'll be right back. <sighs> okay. So we got some two sandwiches here. Okay, I'm gonna move the Coca-Cola back. We got some two sandwiches here. They look amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put this one this way. And then I have some chips. Oh my god, have you guys tried this before? This is the two dollar only potato chips and these are pretty good because I like them because they're there's I mean obviously crunchy but they're not as heavy they're very thin and they just kind of like melt in your mouth yet it's crunchy so I like that Ooh. okay Let's see guys yeah I'm talking about. Mm, okay. I honestly don't even know how to like, start eating this, but you guys can totally use a hot dog bun. It's probably easier. The bread is too hard. Don't get me wrong, this is very good. 
super flavorful, but so hard to eat. I would recommend wrapping them in a foil, like a burrito. Does this look bland to you? It's, it doesn't, right? But because it's so flavorful, I think I, it was a good idea that I added more sauce, you know, Worcestershire and oyster sauce later because the flavor and the bread. This is why I can't, I don't like eating sandwiches. This is so good. This is surprisingly very good. I thought like that yakisoba flavor goes really well with the bread. I want to use this bread for the purpose of just kind of the, you know, it looks pretty. But I recommend hot dog buns. Then they'll be easier to eat. This tastes like a mixture of <clears throat> like roast beef sandwich from pot bellies and a little bit of jajangmyeon. <laughs> Sounds weird, but it's pretty good. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to mention this parchment paper or newspaper. It's not a newspaper. It's a parchment paper because I use this here and there. And a lot of people are like, "Oh my god, really, Kimmy? Seriously, you're putting your food on top of a newspaper? Like, ugh. okay, I would never do that." Like, you know, when you touch a newspaper, newspaper, the ink comes up, comes off, and like it goes on your hands. Like, don't, like, don't you think I would know that it would go on my food? I guess some people think I'm stupid, but that's fine. Whatever. As long as I know that they're not on top of a newspaper. And it says daily fry. Somebody caught it on my ASMR video. So oh, thank you. This bread is so hard to eat. <clears throat> Somebody in my last video. They had, so okay, so going back. In Tom's video Previous videos, I mentioned how I consumed um, about 600 calories on my diet day. And I saw comments here and there like, Oh my god, like you're basically starving yourself. Uh, some people, someone actually commented how you manage, um, in the next video, can you talk about how you manage your 600 calories on your diet days? And how many days do I do that? It's hard. It's gonna be so hard at first. Cause consuming 600 calories is pretty little. 
but I'm constantly eating or drinking the meal replacement that I'm usually not that hungry. I'm usually the hungriest right before I sleep because I try not to eat it after like, I try not to eat anything after, like before, like a couple hours before I sleep. And usually that's when I'm really hungry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Like, I'm constantly drinking the meal replacement like maybe two times a day. If I'm really hungry, or if I really like am. Um, if you if you have an urge to like eat chips or like some t like something in munchan, get popcorn. So like, usually, you know, I can't finish the one popcorn by myself like during um, at least in one sitting while I'm on my diet days because I use them or need them for something that just kind of like munch on when I'm doing bills or like editing. But I don't eat popcorn on every day. It just like so like <clears throat> mm, like let's say like I've been doing the diet day for three days. On the third day, I'm so hungry because I don't eat anything besides the meal replacement and yogurt. Then I you know just get some popcorn. I try to avoid it as much as possible. But there are just days where I'm like, oh, I can't go on anymore. You know. So I consume about six, seven hundred calories on my diet day, and I work out twice, morning and night. And I actually go to a park, and I you know play with Ame. I walk with him for a little bit. So I'm constantly moving. You know I'm doing my laundry. I'm I'm vacuuming dishes. I'm all constantly moving, even throughout the day. I don't lay around. <clears throat> I know that a lot of you guys might be I know, I know, actually I know for a fact that a handful of you guys will disagree with what I do to lose weight or maintain weight, whatever. But it's very temporary. Once I am at the point, like, once I lose all the fat, like, or as much as I want, as much as I am planning to, then I'm gonna start doing, like, weights and lifting and tone my body. And eat more, instead of, like, eat more healthier food and not really think about calories, but just stick to healthier food during the week when I'm not filming mukbang. I'm not, at this point, I'm not trying to go back to how skinny I was. I'm trying to be better. And I want to prove to people that, yeah, I feel mukbang three, four times a week, but look at my body, you know? I want that. The sponsorships, like, yeah! <laughs> Who knows, you know? I'm gonna give you guys heads up. I cannot finish this. Oh my gosh. I'm like already really full. So I am going to start on this side, but I am not. No, you know what? I should start on this side.
I got the egg. I'm going to take out because they're going to fall anyways. And then I'm going to stuff in everything like this. So. This is so motherfucking hard to eat. So I'll just talk about it really quickly. Uh, <clears throat> my future. I kind of want. I want to start a business, basically. And obviously, it's food. It's gonna be food related, and most likely, it's going to be a restaurant. So if there's any millionaire or billionaires out there who's watching me right now, email me. <laughs> I, trust me, you could invest in me and I will make it work. I will make it work. It's like self-advertising right here. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I want to do. Obviously, with Tong. My future, he's going to be, he's going to be in it. Um, my dog is in it. <laughs> I eventually want to open my own restaurant. Um, I'm not really going to tell you what it's going to be. Like what I'm going to sell. But eventually, I do want to start my own restaurant. Not only that, I want to have my own line of kitchen tools or kitchen wares. Okay. After I started mukbang, I started, I use so many, I have so much kitchen stuff. Kitchen wares, utensils. I have so much. And I have a lot of cabinets here. If you guys you know, saw it already in my long, long time ago vlog. I have a lot of places to storage things in my kitchen. I don't have space anymore because I buy so much things. I try out so many things. So, you know, basically I have a lot. So I know uh, the pros and cons of these things. And I also know how I can make it better. How, and I, I mean like, eventually I will have my own line. Just like, um, just this, like here and there, which obviously I'm not gonna say. But, just I have my own ideas and I really believe that it's going, it's going to work and I know that a lot of people are going to buy it. It's creative, you know? No, I actually don't want the cheese right now. Baby Swiss cheese. Yeah, I don't really like this one. Maybe it doesn't work with a sandwich. I don't know. It's too much for me right now. Uh, anyways, um, that's my plan. In high school, mm, college, I always wanted to open my own cafe. What if I ever opened the cafe? I wanted my cafe to be known as like, oh my god, they do so much, so many events, like holiday, they do giveaways, they do like raffle tickets, and like certain holidays, I want, I want to do giveaways or events. And I wanted to make it a place where not only you sell coffee and desserts, I want at midnight, and this is on me thinking like, I wanted to open this in, near college, so during past like 9 o'clock or during midnight, I sell food. Or even throughout the day, you know, I saw very simple food like kimchi fried rice or something very small and easy to make and easy for people to eat and just come while they're studying, you know, they not only they can drink coffee, but they can only, you know, also eat food. That's what I wanted to create. And I, I kept wanting, I think even today I still want to do it a little bit. But uh, obviously, if I do ever open it, um, it's going to be my mascot. <laughs> you know, he's going to be walking around. I don't think that's legal, but you know what I mean. 
That's what I want. So that's kind of like not a brief, very generalized my you know very generalizing my future. But I have so much more, more specific and precise. But I just still don't want to share it here yet. Cause it's not gonna happen this year. So. And trust me, if it ever does happen, you guys will be the first to know. So, subscribe, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I really, if I ever open a restaurant, I really want to do that. Like, I want to invite, you know, maybe not the grand opening, but you know, like the day before, you know, you get special, you can send out special invitations and they can come before the grand opening. I want to do that. But I want to do it with you guys, like maybe 50 of you guys, 100 of you, you know, depending on how big my restaurant is. I want to do that, kind of like a giveaway, like, hey, if you guys come, if you guys can make it, you guys get free meal, everything is paid, eat whatever you want, the day before grand opening, obviously. And if you guys come on grand uh, opening day and tell me like, oh, I know Kimmy, Kimmy is I'm a huge fan, I, I watch your YouTube channel, and, um... I'll give you guys a discount, you know? Something like that. And I don't think my ideas are complex at all. It's actually very simple and I think simple ideas work better. My friend actually introduced me to this and ever since it's been my favorite. Eating like a burger. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, what about my future with Tong? With Tong Vigity? Check out his channel. likely most certain that I want to spend the rest of my life with him and I know that you know things happen in life so it might not happen but we both of us want it to happen so you know there's a difference
And I actually thought about, you know, I, I, and I love living with him. And let's say that if both of us decide to never actually get married, I'll be totally okay with it, okay with that too. As long as like, okay, do you want to still live together? I'll be fine with that. Do you want to get married and live together and have that, have that title? That's fine too. But, uh, for you guys know that a couple of months ago, I mentioned how I'm thinking about getting another dog when I move out in May. I thought about it. This I thought about getting another dog for the longest time. Ever since I got Ame two years ago, I thought about this. I'm like, I want another Samoyed. I want another dog. I need a friend for him. I thought about this for two years. Back and forth. I don't want it. No, I actually do want it. I don't want another dog. No, I actually do. I am 100%, 110% sure now that I don't want one. It's because I don't know. I think it's part of it is because I'm so special to me that I don't want. I don't know. I just want him to be the only dog in my life. I mean, obviously, like. You know, I want it to be the only dog in my life. He's. I want it to be the only Samoya. I want it to be only like pet or whatever companion animal. I don't. I want. I want him to be the only one in my life. You know, like I don't want anyone, any dog or cat or whatever, rat, mouse, horse. I don't want any of them, any of it. You know, any of the animals to take over his spot because I want him in a special place in my heart. You know, so. I thought about it and I just decided not to get an other dog. So if I rescue a dog, yeah, you know, like if you go to shelter, you can buy, um, you can rescue them for really like a couple hundred dollars, you know? But <clears throat> you have to get them shots. You have to get food. Sometimes they get sick, you know, like you, get, you have to get them neutered. And it's a lot of money. And at this point, I feel like instead of using that amount of money on another dog, like if I could use half of it to invest more on Ame and like have him healthier and more happier life, you know? So. And although I work at home, lucky, I'm so lucky to work at home. I think if I get another dog, I think I was so consumed by taking care of them and just giving them what they need that my life's gonna uh, revolve around that. I'm not the type that, oh, they can stay by themselves for like seven, eight hours. It's okay, I don't have to be home. I'm not like that. I'm so needy. I feel like I'm more needier than I'm it. <laughs> like, I need him to be there. I need to make sure he's okay. I need to make sure that he's not staying ho at home more than like, one or two hours by himself. I mean, there are times where I can't do anything about it. But, here's my baby. Okay, this is not dog hair, this is bean sprouts, okay? So. And whenever I go on a trip, I have to take Ami to my parents' house. If I get a two dog, I don't think my parents are gonna like that. So, and I really don't like taking Ami to PetSmart or any boarding places overnight. I, I've never done that yet, but I might have to maybe once this year. But unless I have to, you know, unless I like absolutely have to, I don't want to do that.
Oh God, I'm full, I can't. Mm. It's so good, I can't stop eating. Maybe I talked so much today that I was like, I was able to eat a little bit more than I thought. Okay, so guys, I am going to stop eating here and announce the next winner for the giveaway. So I'll mix them around. La 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 la. So congratulations for um, winning this giveaway. And thank you everyone once again for commenting and just showing some love and appreciation and uh, definitely motivates me more to make more videos and be more creative and be more me, I guess. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so this one is the winner, and for other the rest three of you guys, I'm sorry. I mean, you guys don't even know who you are yet, so I don't. And I don't think I'm gonna reveal. So, and the winner is Gabby Edwards. God, do I say Gabby or Gabby? Gabby Edwards. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Oh my gosh! Congratulations! Yay! So you can comment in this video, or you can comment under your comment in my giveaway video. So I can, or you could, if you know my email, you could email me. But um, I have to talk to you obviously because I have to get your address and I have to send it to you. And now I talk to you. So congratulations! Uh, and thank you everyone for participating in this giveaway. That will conclude. Our, or my 400,000k subscriber celebration and giveaway. Um, thank you guys so much for showing me so much um, attention. And don't be upset, there, there will be another giveaway coming very soon. Very, very, very soon. It might not even be for a celebration, it could just be a random giveaway. And I think you guys will like it, so stay tuned. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment, leave a comment if, you, if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, if there's anything you guys want me to answer. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to Dong Diggity. Have a great weekend, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!